Today's scripture is from 2 Corinthians 3.12 through 4.2 from the message. With that kind of hope to excite us, nothing holds us back. Unlike Moses, we have nothing to hide. Everything is out in the open with us. Moses wore a veil so the children of Israel wouldn't notice that the glory was fading away. And they didn't notice. They didn't notice it then and they don't notice it now. Don't notice that there's nothing left behind that veil. Even today, when the proclamations of the old bankrupt government are read out, they can't see through it. Only Christ can rid, get rid of the veil so they can see for themselves and there's nothing there. Whenever, though, they turn to face God as Moses did, God removes the veil and there they are, face to face. They suddenly recognize that God is a living personal presence, not a piece of chiseled stone. And when God is personally present, a living spirit, that old constricting legislation that is recognized as obsolete, we're free of it. All of us, nothing between us and God. Our face is shining with the brightness of God's face. And so we are transfigured much like the Messiah our lives gradually becoming brighter and more beautiful as God enters our lives and we become Christ-like. Hear what the Spirit says today. Thanks be to God. Amen. We welcome Mr. Stephen Fales as he comes to see for us. No distinction, no. 
forward to, uh, to being present for the uh, Mormon American princess. Yes. And uh, for those of you who know my background, I come from a Mormon tradition. So I can't wait to see that secret underwear and um, all of that good stuff that goes on in the temple. It's not if we come to this place, let's join together in prayer. 